Hey everybody, Big Mikey here with yet another video from Buffalo Comic Con. Now, this video meant a lot to me because, well, the main reason is I'm still a kid. Okay, regardless of my age, I'm still a kid. I got a chance to interview two-time Emmy Award winning producer Bill Diamond. Name not familiar to you? Maybe the projects that he's worked on will be familiar to you. Dark Crystal, the Jim Henson movie. Fraggle Rock. If not, you're way too young to be watching this. Anyways, it was really, really, really cool to uh, meet him and interview him. He's a very humble man and he's just continually making the Jim Henson world live on and unfortunately two things i didn't get to take any pictures or video of the area he was in he had some of the puppets from fraggle rock as well as some of his own projects and two of the big puppets from dark crystal but it's still really good. The other thing is, is I really wish I would have had my Dark Crystal movie, which I have behind me, you know, in my movie collection, so he could autograph it. That would have been cool. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, as always, please make sure you leave comments and likes. Have a great day. Come on in. <laughs> hey, guys. Like I told you, uh, a big surprise, two-time Emmy-winning producer, Bill Diamond. Come on in, sit down, how you doing? How you doing? How is everybody? And uh, here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Look at this. Woo, hey! <laughs> um, guys, uh, he has done so many things in the puppet industry, correct? Yep. And, uh, you know, he, he's very, uh, I, I, what I've heard so far, and that you're very, you know, down low on a lot of things. You know, you're like, oh, I, you know, I really, that's his movie. I really just did this and stuff like well, that. Well, such as Dark like Crystal. Jim? Yeah. Uh, well, it is Jim's movie. And many artists worked on that film. I mean, I happened to be in a, in a, in a great position at the time. Johnny Henson and I were friends. And, uh, and Jim and Jane were always wonderful. And I did some inside work at, uh, at Henson's for, for Jim, but it was, it was great to be around and watch mm -hmm. all those craftsmen. And I, I was busy doing my own thing at that time. Yeah. I mean, I really wanted to be my own producer, and, and Jim understood that, and he was really gracious to give me a lot of guidance and tips whenever I would see him. He was always very busy, so it was always great to look in. Mm -hmm. And he was very supportive with other artists doing things beyond his his world. I mean, right. He was a visionary and uh, I was really interested in doing, having my, I had my own studio, I was planning on and doing what I'm doing and that craft you know, escalated and Jim was a guy that just fortunately was around to uh, mm -hmm. help guide me and give me uh, insight. Now why don't you tell the guys some of the stuff that you've worked on in the past and I, you know, I told them Dark Crystal my, well, my again, biggest thing, and it was Jim's movie. I realized that. It was Jim's but you movie. Did, but you did have some help into it. So well, that, that, that was, you know. I always try to say I was a young kid and mm -hmm. I was around it. There were many sculptors and people in the puppet shops that were doing amazing mm -hmm. things. It was great to see, uh, um, you know, them doing their craft whenever I would visit with John or. Um, I was with Jim, and we did some projects around it and set up some elements for, for that and other movies. But again, I was very busy doing my thing. You know, I, I had a show at that time that was on cable that I was doing, which was Land of the Moonshins, and then we did it as a live show. Because malls were big at that point, oh, yeah, so we yeah. were sending a lot of live shows out. And uh, I had a show called Stuffy's Place, which Johnny Henson would come and be a part of. So it was really great to have that interaction. And many shows like, um, let's see, Do Dr. Rock's Dinosaur Adventure, yes. which was shot up here. Right. Uh, it was shot in Rochester. Uh, I did a lot of things up here in the Buffalo area. Uh, I've had Stuffy here for when we did um, 
festival lights in Niagara. Yes, so that's right. And I, and I remember those yeah, so. those up there. Um, Fraggle Rock, too, right? You well, Fraggle Rock, in a yeah, bit. and a little bit of Fraggle Rock. I mean, the great thing about Fraggle Rock is that, again, they had wonderful artists working on that show. And Michael Frith, yes. who is the conceptual artist for Jim, um, was always gracious to show what we were go what was going on and we have one of the original prototype fraggles here. And Michael was wonderful and he, he uh, was a, a, a great inspiration to what I do now and all the artists that were working down there. So it gave me an insight to um, you know be involved. So Fraggle Rock was a nice thing and we like showing that off because it was a, a real stepping stone, one of my favorite. You know, they shot in here. They shot in Toronto. Right. Um, I had nothing to do with it on set, but uh, you know, it it was a great inspiration for a young person. And you know, here you're walking around, you see Jim doing his thing, you see all the artists doing their thing, and Johnny and I are coming in and out doing what we were doing. And there it is. There it is. Now, do you have anything? Like in the works for the future. Yes, I mean, we have. Well, we're always doing something for many other people. We're creating uh, a bear named Cuz. Okay. Uh, from a children's book done by a very famous artist named um, Robert Aragon. Okay. So I know we're who bringing that is. Robert's little Cuz together and have my shows from the books. We're also bringing Land of the Lunches back, which is something I created 35 years ago, and the, and the fans can actually watch it. Nice. You know, get involved, see how we perform it, and then we'll add it, all the elements to the cons, and they can actually then after they watch the TV show, they can actually come and visit. Oh, that is that'll be phenomenal. So it's in the, inside that, and I'm always still doing a little shop. Yeah, I do a little shop since 1984. Yeah, that's another thing, guys. If you've never seen any of these movies and shows. You need to get away from your computer and go do something like that. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I've not only seen the actual stage show, but I've actually the, saw the, the movies. Was that the Off Broadway one? The, the Off Broadway show? one, oh, and okay. uh, you know, I've I've gone. I, that's one of my favorites. Well, it, there's a great history with that show. Um, you know, uh, Robert Corman did the 1960 black and white movie. Right. And then um, when Maury, uh, when uh, they turned it into a play, um, there was Marty Robinson who created the original puppet. Right. And that was for the off-Broadway show. And then when it went to Westchester Broadway and then it went on tour, they had come to me to, to do it then. And so I've been doing it ever since then. Yeah. But uh, Marty's designs were revolutionary at that time. So, uh, you know, one major last question for you, and then I, because I know you're a busy man, you got people, you know, coming in and out of your rooms and stuff. Uh, the, the whole Comic Con feel, or the different cons that you go to, and that what is it that keeps making you want to do that and interact with well, your fans? What's nice is that. You know, we like to keep Jim out there, okay, and his family has been doing that very well, and the, all the artists that work on it. We, we try to model it over the fact that out of all the puppets we have and the characters we have, it's great for them to see them, you know, real. And then we get a brand, we, we're always working on new projects, so we like to incorporate those. So it's turned into something more of an experience. And it's it's been really nice as a platform for us to continue puppetry because I think a lot of people feel it went away. Right. And there's great artists out there that are doing it. And one of the things is we get a chance to bring like Mark Dotson in who did the voices for Star Wars. So we get to bring Sarah, uh, Victoria Price, who's Vincent's daughter, right. involved because we have puppets for her. So we try to get the actors there so the people can see, or in the voiceover people so they can see the connection. Mm -hmm. So it's been a nice design and, and our studio is keeping it alive and um, I'm, I'm hoping we're adding to Jim's legacy too that has presented all this and they get to read the books and know all these names that are out there all these now, great artists it, you know from what I've seen it, it's it's definitely holding up the Jim's memory and I really appreciate that it, you know from my childhood I mean I, I, I was a huge Jim Henson. Mm -hmm. I loved watching all of his well, shows so and stuff like that. <laughs> so to see somebody keeping that that torch going and keeping it lit, and the faces of the young people, 
the little kids coming in looking at the stuff and they learning about it. It's just going to let the memory go on for generations. Well, and I appreciate that and thank you for that. Oh, I, 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 it's it's my pleasure. And what's nice is that when we find different puppeteers and different people like um, Simon Williams, who was a mystic on uh, Dark Crystal, and we get him to be, pull him in. People were getting a sense to feel these people that did all this special work, you know, and they get a chance to do people that didn't see. Um, now, Carol Spinney, we've got Carol doing shows. Oh, okay, cool. And, um, you know, he started doing that, and it's really brought light in his documentary. This is the fans get to see the man, the man behind these great characters. Right, yeah. So, we, we like to feel that we're adding to them, then they get to see our art and our designs that we're trying to keep our stuff. All right, great. Guys, again, Bill Diamond, two-time Emmy-winning producer. Uh, thank you for coming and spending oh, just a little time with us. Yeah. We greatly appreciate My it. My pleasure. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of the time. Oh, we will. We're having fun Legend. Legend. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being really cool about this. And thank you again. Right. Have a great have a great day. All right. Uh, you know, I'll show you out. Help her here. Yeah.